Hello everybody, David Lowry with Club Fantasy coming to you live from the Southern Hobby Supply Retail Expo here in Nashville, Tennessee. Joining me is Stefan from Yellow Games and we're going to talk about this exciting new game called Kanagawa. Tell us about what we've got here. What hey are we David. looking at? So uh, we are very excited about the Kanagawa. It's the first time that we are collaborating with uh, Bruno Catala okay. and uh, Charles Chevalier. Uh, so the setting of the game is obviously from the cover you can see it uh, we are a Japanese painter and we are learning from the master Okusai, the painter who did the great wave of Kanagawa where the title is coming from. So in this game we are going to uh, <coughs> excuse me we are going to um, try to paint a painting in our uh, studio okay. by putting together those pieces of paint like this. But in order to paint those, I need to first learn the technique of painting a wave. So I need to put in my studio a wave card like that. So if I have learned the technique to paint a wave, I can use one of my paintbrush to use my technique about painting a wave and adding that piece of my painting which require a wave. Um, the game is a drafting game. We are going to use that bamboo board to display card with the number of players. So two players, we are only using those two rows, three players, four, three rows, four players, four rows. All right. And we're going to lay down those cards for drafting. And then when we collect them, we're going to have to put them in our uh, studio, either as a technique or as an actual piece of the painting. The scoring is going to be uh, uh, scored by looking at the uh, how many points that we see on the cards here by also building the longest season for example right now I have three winters yeah. so this is worth three points at the end of the game we are also going to score one victory point for each piece of our painting the game ends when one player has 11 pieces in their painting or we have exhausted the deck of cards uh, another way to score is those diploma Along the game, when we achieve um, objectives or goals, we're going to be able to collect some of those diploma. For example, we have character cards with uh, characters on them. And we see here that if, as soon as I collect two different characters in my paintings, by putting them like so, I'm going to be able to receive that diploma, which is Two, dif two different characters. Now, I can only collect one diploma in each of the color category. So if I collect that diploma right when I have two uh, different characters, I'm not going to be able to go back later in the game and collect this four point for three different characters because I already have a, right. a diploma in there, but you'll be able to do that. Sure. So another strategy is to wait, hoping that I'm going to have a, a third character, but if you do it before me, then I waste my time. Sure. So the different diploma, you get diploma if you have two of the same techniques in your studio or three of the same technique or four of the same techniques. You get also a diploma if you get three diff two different houses or three different houses or four. You can get diplomas for the number of trees in your paintings. You can get also um, Diploma for the number of paintbrush. We start the game with two paintbrush mm -hmm. and remember we need to use those in order to activate our technique when we paint uh, paintings. But some of the other diploma give us an extra paintbrush. For example, if I get three different techniques in my studio, I'm collecting an extra paintbrush and oh well, as soon as I have three paintbrush, I can also collect that diploma. So there is trigger effect. The other special action in the game are um, you have this little symbol of a storm right here and when I collect that um, houses mm -hmm. I can get a free cover for my season and for example, good example in my current painting I have a nice suite of winters with a fall in the middle well at the end of the game when I score I can cover my fall with a storm and now it's five winter giving me five points. It's kind of a wild card. Exactly. Um, the other special card that we have are um, some of the techniques are wild card. So if I collect that card and I put it in my studio, 
Now I can use that technique as a wild card for any of the painting, but the cost is that it's costing me two victory points at the end of the game. Mm. Um, the other special abilities are is the, um, that arrow allow me, allow me to move um, a paint brush from one technique to the other. For example, if I want to paint um, that mountain, mm -hmm. I can use my wild card for it and I can move my paintbrush from my forest to the mountain in order to be able right. to paint that piece of paint in my uh, painting. And then um, when, you, when we see the symbol with the Grandmaster here, this is the first player token. Every time a player collects that symbol, he gets the assistant. So the assistant is gonna move around the board. At the end of the round, whoever has the assistant becomes the first player. And that covers all the mechanics. Now, the things I didn't talk about is the drafting. So as I said on the bamboo board here, if we are playing three players, we have three rows. So if I'm the first player, I'm going to... Let's start from scratch. On my turn as the first player, mm -hmm. I am going to draft three cards. If it's a blank spot, it's face up. If it's a dark spot, it's face down. Oh, sorry. And then, first player decide, I want to collect a row of cards mm -hmm. to put it in my painting, or I want to pass. So let's say I'm going to pass, and then player two is going to pass, and we're going to pass. Right. Now we are adding more cards to the draft, so we are doing a second row. And you will notice that on the back of the card, we have an information of the type of element that it is. Right. This is a house behind here. This will say that this is a tree behind here. Mm -hmm. This will say it's a house, etc., etc. So you have some information of what those cards are. Made. Let's say, for example, I pass, but player two decide that he wants to take a colon and he's going to take this colon. So he's to taking the entire colon of cards mm -hmm. and he sees what he can do. Well, he happened to have a mountain and he can build a mountain. So he's gonna use his paintbrush to use the mountain technique in order to paint that mountain, which happened to give him one victory point and a wild card, so it's good. We are still in the, in the four. Right. But that card, however, requires two techniques of sun, which we don't have. So it automatically goes into our st technique studio and we can now paint two mountains if needed. Like, for example, this card requires two mountains in order to be painted. No, what's happening, this player is out of that round because he has choose to pick up his technique, but you and I are still in the round. Right. No, we are starting a new one and we are filling only the, the, the column that are still in the game. So I'm gonna add one card here. I'm gonna pass that column because if this player is no longer here mm -hmm. and add another one. And again, I have no, the game is full, so we cannot get another round. I'm right. gonna have to choose one of those two columns. So, for example, I'm going to pick this one, and you're going to have to pick this one. Right. And, and the idea here is you're kind of trying to find paintings that match your strategy up here, right? Yes. That's what they're going yes. for. Yes. So it's it's a mix. So I might go for this because I want to be the first player, or I need I want to develop more technique to be able to paint more painting in the future. Mm -hmm. Or indeed, if there was some winter on the board, since well, uh, although I just put a fall in there, but if I had more winter, I would be more attracted to the winter. So that's. It, it's one of those games where you have many different ways to, to score. You want to have the longest season, mm -hmm. or you're going to go, like for example, I know I have a long painting and the other player have short painting, mm -hmm. so I might want to, sh to end the game quick to prevent you guys from collecting more diploma. So there are way different strategies. Um, it's a very uh, contemplative experience. I like the fact that you are putting together your painting on the board and it gives a nice display. Um, and um, yeah, it's, uh, the game lasts about 45 minutes, so it's uh, pretty quick and once you know the rules, the mechanic is, uh, is quite simple. What is it retailing for? It retails for $39.99. $39.99, and is it already available? Or is it... Uh, we just released it uh, this month, yes. All right, there it is. Now I can tell you from my personal experience, I did get to play this at Gen Con and I loved it. It's a great game. It's, it's much deeper than you think it would be for such a small box type game in 45 minutes. Everybody at the table had a blast. We immediately wanted to play it again. So I definitely recommend that you take a look at this. It is Kanagawa from Yellow Games. This is Stefan. I'm David. 
with Club Fantasy. Stay tuned, we have more coming to you from the Southern Hobby Supply Retail Expo here in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you.